Very good, friends. Doc South here. <sighs> well, I, um, I, I've been getting um, emails from 11th Hour Rescue, and perhaps you have too. Uh, they're, um, well, these, this is that group you've heard me often, if you remember my old uh, internet re webcasts and, and such. Um, I, I'm always, I was always trying to talk them up, and well, I think it's time to yeah, put the old... Uh, <laughs> put the old brain and a uh, uh, mouth where my heart is one more time uh, for these good people. 11th Hour Rescue here basically in North Jersey. You know, you know, they're the people that rescue uh, homeless dogs. Dog, they get them out of kill shelters, uh, get them all spiffed up. Uh, you know, they do all they can to help them, uh, you know, regain their health. And then what they do is they adopt these animals out. Uh, to good families here in the area. Uh, they're wonderful people. They, uh, they do charge to adopt a dog, but that is uh, actually pretty, you're getting away pretty reasonable because uh, it, in a lot of cases, these, do these dogs come with medical problems or just keeping them, you know, for a, a couple of months. Where, whereas some shelters, actually 11th Hour Rescue keeps these animals till they, dogs and cats, till they get adopted. There's never any talk of euthanasia or anything like that. Um, so the, these, are, uh, these folks are the real deal. And I guess what with all the hurricanes down south, uh, both in Florida and that, that awful uh, flooding uh, uh, hurricane that came through uh, North Carolina, it was at Florence, I believe, uh, they, they've got buckets of dogs to be taken care of. Uh, that, that, that they've gotten out of that situation. Evidently, what happens is down in the Carolinas, and I'm assuming in Florida too, uh, dogs get found. You know, they've been separated from their, uh, from their masters, uh, from their people. And actually, sometimes it's hard to know who is the master, the dog or the person. Let's say they're friends. They get separated from their family. Let's, that's even better. And the, uh, I think a better way to put it, uh, <laughs> it is up for grabs who masters who. Uh, the, uh, but evidently the, uh, the, the dogs and cats that are brought into shelters, well, there's such an influx that if the animals aren't claimed in about 14 days, uh, in many cases, I, I don't know if that's all cases, but in many cases, uh, the animals have 14 days to get uh, claimed or then they're euthanized. Of course, that's where Eleventh Hour Rescue and other similar shelters come into play. Now, these animals usually come with medical problems that need to be taken care of. You can imagine the vet bills they get. Eleventh uh, Hour Rescue does all they can to fight the illness and to get the dog healthy and then adopted. And again, like I said, they ask a moderate fee for the donation uh, for to get you know the the fee for the dog you're getting from them. Um, it's like Millie, I think. We got Millie from a similar situation, only it was Basset Hound Rescue, and I think it was about 200 bucks. And I, I know they, these folks who, uh, um, who took care of, who had Millie up for adoption, I think went through, uh, I think there, there was some operations that were expensive. I think uh, Millie had like a uterine cancer uh, that, you know, a lot of places would say, well, that's it for her. Well, gosh, that would have been awful. She's a wonderful dog. Uh, and, and, well, I, what I'm saying is if you can help 11th Hour Rescue, good for you. Even a few bucks. It's a few bucks more than they had. Uh, I would look on their Facebook page. All the information, pictures of the dogs. Uh, there's, um, there's one poor dog here, uh, five to six month old uh, female named Annabelle. She looks kind of like a, she might be a hound dog. It's sort of hard to tell because she's kind of cowering in her bed, uh, all scared looking and, and very thin. Uh, she, she looks like she really needs uh, good meals and a whole lot of pats on the head and well, hopefully not too much medical care. But, the, you know, she's up for adoption. Uh, but again, 11th Hour Rescue, they're doing what they can to help. If you got a few extra bucks, maybe you can help them. Okay, check them out, 11th Hour Rescue. I know you can Google them. Um, I, I, I think you'll be very glad you did. And 
Well, I, I've known them to be right top of the line when it comes to uh, getting a dog. Very careful that they don't, uh, that they adopt carefully. And um, the little bit of a fee they charge is a mere bag of shells compared to all the fun you're going to have with the dog you get from them. Uh, a dog that knows you've rescued them. And uh, dogs know when they're in a bad situation. Dogs are smart. <laughs> and Millie, here, I'll show you. Well, hold on a minute. I think I can do it. Let me, uh, I don't mind my hand in the way here. I don't know how to work these stupid cameras. But here, hold on a minute. Uh, stoop, wait a minute. Who's stupid? Yeah. Here, wait a minute. Let me show you how Millie's got it. Now, again, remember, she was, um, she, <laughs> she was, uh, you know, she was in a pickle. Possibly could have been put down. Look at her. Here, you see her? Do we got her here? Gosh, I don't know. You can hardly see her. There's so much. Oh, there she is. There you go. Yeah, doesn't she have it awful? Look at that. I know. She's taking her, her late morning nap. She's already had her early morning nap. She's had her after breakfast nap uh, and her walk in the front yard nap. And now she's having her real nap. There you go. See? Yep. This could be you someday with a nice old dog. Okay, anyway, 11th hour rescue. Bless their hearts. See what you can do, okay? We'll catch you later. Bye now, friends. Oh, and remember, it's 11th hour rescue. You spell out the 11th uh, for Facebook. Okay.